What's up guys? It's Bricktastic and today we'll be doing a different sort of video. We will be doing a review with spoilers, but I'll tell you when the spoilers come. And did Leo get it right on the new Black Widow movie film thing? So, Black Widow just came out. I watched it on Friday and I was very hyped for it and this will be initial reaction and initial reaction was it was fun liked it and there were just bit tiny like little nitpicky missed opportunities in my opinion but i'll get to those after that but yeah the characters were fun the villains were great the story was different enough and yeah, that's my non-spoiler review of it. Now, for my brief spoiler review, I'm gonna start with the the two little, the one gripe I have is Budapest. It's the one like big gripe. I wish there was, I wish they had Jeremy Renner in the movie. I don't know if he's that expensive. I don't think he is since he's getting his own show. Maybe that's why they didn't have him in this movie, but this movie was supposed to come out a year ago, so I think they had time to get him on board. But I think they should have, I don't know, maybe cut a little of the intro if, if they were worried about the movie being too long. Maybe cut a little of the intro to have, like, a Budapest scene. But other than that, maybe they didn't need to, honestly, because you don't really, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But, but in retrospect, since... You know, it's all about her killing the daughter or whatever. I mean, because that's like the main focus. Maybe you don't need Budapest. But the only reason I'm saying it is because it's been set up for a while. That it's like, oh, Budapest, blah, blah, blah. But that's the only thing. But maybe if they do a spinoff show, they could show it. That could be fun. But I doubt that. But yeah, let's get into the what I really liked about the movie. So what I really liked was everything. I liked Black Widow. I liked Yelena. I liked Taskmaster. And the whole red herring throughout the movie about... I can't remember the guy's name, but... Yeah, I'll put a picture of him right here. Like, the whole movie, I'm like, okay, it's him. It has to be him. And then, no, it turned out to be the daughter figure, which... When she took the mask off, I was like, oh, my God. It was like... It was like, I don't know. It was like a very emotional. But, yeah. And it... I liked it. I liked Taskmaster. I liked Red Guardian. I'm so happy I have the Comic Con set now. Um, I can't remember the other girl's name. Oh, what's her name? Oh my gosh, I am so dumb. What is her name? I don't know. I don't know her name. What's uh whatever? But yeah, she was a red herring too. I thought I was like, okay, she's gonna be Taskmaster too. I was like, okay, if it's not him, it's her. And then the, the whole, like, double plot twist of, like, her being the villain, and then it was, like, the mask thing. Which I'm, I like the, the, the little masks, or not the little masks, the, like, technology, the masks. I like it. It's simple. It was a fun twist. And another twist, like, for the third act of the movie, the whole time I'm watching, like, the, inter like, interrogation kind of scene with Black Widow and, what's the guy's name? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. But you know his name. Um, the whole time I'm like, what's like the punchline? And then when it's like, oh, you know, she can't hit him. And then she has to, you know, sever her nerve. I was like, caught me off guard. I was like, I thought it was like, maybe they're just being lazy at first. I was like, okay, this is not going to be an action scene. And then it kind of paid off. But yeah, the whole movie. Oh my God, the start was my, my favorite. Start, so, like maybe you think it was too long i thought it paid off well like the whole plane scene i thought it had a good payoff maybe they could have cut it but i really enjoyed the intro i enjoyed seeing black widow off like you know just living normal life watching television living on the run with her all like new identities that was the most interesting part and like the whole bridge scene where she first encounters taskmaster that was nice and then when, and then the actual, the little pink vials from the, I'll show you in the Comic-Con set. But it turns out those are the little anti-things, whatever, to, 
uh, get the Black Widow, their uh, control back. That was nice, because I've had this set for a whole year, and I thought they were Pym Particles, but they're not. And Yelena, their banter was really... I liked it. It was I, every joke that landed in this movie. And then the little pose, the, uh, the joke about the pose. I thought that was really funny. I thought that was really cr cool and creative, too. Um, Taskmaster was a really cool... But he's br a brief villain. But it was cool. They could have done maybe, like, a little more, like... Since they're like, oh, he copies or fights. So maybe they could have done, like, a whole mirror scene where it's like maybe well they kind of did but like a whole like more dragged out scene but yeah red guardian was cool like his whole breakout scene um that was cool and then the chick <laughs> i don't know her name thought she was evil and then when she wasn't i was like oh that's cool and then the other guy the russian guy the villain of the movie he was a bad guy and yeah, I actually don't really have much to say about him. But yeah, so I give the movie an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Really recommend it. If you haven't seen it and just listen to all the spoilers, that's a shame. You should go see it, support this movie. So maybe we could get a Disney Plus spinoff series of it. But yeah, let's get into the Lego tie-in. So regarding Lego... So I haven't really regarded Lego yet. The first set we have is, I don't know what it's called, the helicopter set. But my set is so dusty because I got it a year ago. But let's take figures off. And then, so we have, you know, just Black Widow through face. Uh, oh, I switched this face. It's not her face. I This is the uh, Civil War face because from my airport mock. This is Yelena with, you know, the pot of vest full of pockets, which is different. I don't have the other Black Widow, on, the one from Infinity War, set on me. The one, like the sand green one. That's cool. They changed up the color. Yeah, they actually gave her leg printing, which is kind of rare, but I'm not like, oh, they didn't have leg printing. Like the new, um, the new Sylvie leg people like, oh my god, doesn't have leg, like, watch the show. You don't need leg printing for a figure like that. If you know what I'm talking about, thank you, and actually agree with me, because it's annoying. It's like, oh, I'm fixing, I'm gonna, I need to fix Sylvie, because she needs leg printing. Just because she doesn't have leg printing doesn't mean it's inaccurate. Like, look, watch the show. She don't need a leg printing, but she also gets this motorcycle. I don't remember. Yeah, they didn't have, because they would just, like, steal random motorcycles, I think, in the movie. Maybe one of the Black Widows had one of them, this, these ones, but I don't think so, but still. It's nice. And then Taskmaster has his dagger, which was more of a sword, just a random sword, but there he is. Trying to focus. Oh, his face room actually has like the little things you like when you saw the inside of it or him like calculating. It's pretty cool. I think they could have used the instead of the hood, the like the helmet piece it's a weird piece i'll put it on screen now but maybe like a blue they're throwing do you did blue they've heard do you like kind of metal gray or something i think that helmet would have been better but i think this is fine as it is but as a whole this helicopter was in the movie but i really don't care because it's like i don't think and maybe they could have maybe i don't know maybe they didn't have it because they usually don't they don't have enough like concept art or official before like maybe this was what it was going to be beforehand because in the movie it was only a singular um propeller one but that's uh, i don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna bat my eye you get a little thing which remember the movie when black widow rode this off of the red room big tower thing remember that scene oh, that was a cool scene if you've ever seen the movie yeah the set's mainly for the figures and i'm i i like that don't care don't think too much about it you get really nothing except for an empty crate on the inside or not empty, but... Oh, actually, yes. In the set, you get a crate full of ingots. I don't know if these are supposed to be, because... I don't know. The, the, is Taskmaster supposed to be, like, this robber in the movie? Or in the set? Because it's, like, jewels and stuff, but... My assumption is that they didn't get enough info for the movie. 
but I think it pays off with the Comic-Con set, which is much more accurate. Oh, let's take a look at the tank first. Okay, so the tank isn't really accurate, but it it is and isn't like see like the it's accurate for the because like in the movie you get just like hitting all these like cars and whatever and it's built like that it's built like you could turn it and then go on rough terrain see like 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 uh, like the wheels like they move to match the terrain which is good but in the movie it's more of like a concealed tank but you know the language isn't like aren't like army stuff maybe that's why and then on the back you get his shield which. You could have used a shield piece, but I don't care. At least we got a shield with his logo on it. Which is really nice. And then you clip it right onto the side. You get this gas tank. Oh, I didn't even realize. You get... Oh my god, you get the arrow. <laughs> so you could do the scene in the movie where it pops out of... I don't know why he's a machete, but... You do the scene where he's on... Oh, and he doesn't even have a hood, which I think is more accurate. But you just see where he pops out. And then he shoots down their car. That's cool. On the front, you have a Taskmaster uh, sticker, and then some random stickers. And then here's my favorite part besides the figures. Oh my god! When I saw this in the movie, I was like, I immediately was like, oh my god! This is the phone. Maybe it's like supposed to be her, because you know how they, but since they're Black Widows, they use different phones. Oh my god, I should, because Taskmaster is technically a Black Widow, kind of, right? So, because they, they always have to, like, change their, like, alias or whatever. And they always have to change their phones, so that's what that could be. And in this crate, you get the suitcase. Oh, this is supposed to be the, um, the thing that holds them, I think, right? In the intro? Isn't it, isn't it, like, in a case or something? In this, like, weird case. And then you get the... The little the the vials from the movie which in the movie i think they're more i just dropped it but i think they're more red but you get two of them and we finally know what these are these are the things that fix the new version of the, the like the phase two or phase three black widows whatever you know but yeah that's really awesome like now that i've seen the movie this set is a lot more cooler but let's take a look at the most exciting part of the set oh, the terrain what the terrain but yeah you get the, the white suited black widow very useful if someone wants to make a mock it's very useful i really like the white suit much more interesting than the black one since we get black suited black widows like all the time and then the infamous figure the infamous wait let me Uh, you, you have to be kidding me. Um, stay on. Um, okay. Infamous Red Guardian. What? The only thing exclusive on him is the torso. But still, I think that's good enough, honestly. I don't think we need the leg printing. I think most... Of the, maybe a helmet, but... I don't know. I think the herpes is fine. Because he takes his helmet off a lot in the movie, so... This figure is really cool now after seeing the movie, and you know, it's like a comic on set. And he's like, Does he have a shield in the movie? Oh, maybe when he was like, um, before he got put in prison, maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Because he's supposed to be the Russian Captain America. But yeah. He's a really cool figure, and I'm really so happy I have this set. Maybe it'll go back up in value after the movie comes out, after people see the movie. But yeah, I so. This set, in terms of accuracy, the scene, this, this, the scene doesn't really match because the scene makes a little, look, I don't know, makes the outfit and, um, Alexi, they're supposed to, it makes it look like it's supposed to be like the scene where they break him out, but it's not, and then he's a tang, but I don't care, I think it's good anyway. You could put Elena in here, maybe, okay, I'm gonna do them, put Elena, or Yelena. Mm, yeah. Oh, speaking of Elena, also, in terms of that end credit scene, oh my god, that was such an emotional scene, and it's like, when you think about it, it's just so sad, it's like, she's, like, it's like, she's dead, and now she's, like, all alone, and it's like, it's just so sad, with the gravestone, with a bunch of flowers on it, because, like, the one, that was, like, the one thing from Endgame, it's like, 
why is Black Widow not getting any, any recognition? And it's like, oh, because she wants to be alone or something? I don't know. But, yeah. So, that is my review and how the sets tie in. The Comic-Con set is the most accurate, I would say. It's like a 7 out of 10 accuracy. No, I'm going to do 6. Because the tank doesn't, doesn't really match, but it's like a tank. And then the helicopter, I'm going to say it's like a 6. So it's like, it's not in the movie, but it's like, you know, it's just in the movie, it's like a helicopter. It's not like, oh, I need the, like, specific one. I don't think it matters, but it's still cool for what it is because you don't only really get these except in city but so yeah thank you all so much for watching my video on the black widow review slash set or this is accurate thank you so much for watching and yeah if you haven't seen black widow go watch it and if you've seen it go watch it again because i want to go see it again i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it after debriefing on it so yeah thanks for watching Subscribe if you haven't yet to be entered in the giveaway. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.